Romanticism, also known as the Romantic Era, was an artistic, literary, musical, and intellectual movement that originated in Europe towards the end of the 18th century, and in most areas was at its peak in the approximate period from 1800 to 1850. Art during the Romanticism period heavily focused on strong emotions, awe of nature, and individualism. During the 19th century, Romanticism was in many ways a return to the Baroque tradition, a sort of renewal or extension of it. An artist who was very prominent during the Romanticism period was English painter John William Waterhouse. He had the mystic temperament, and it was natural for him to express himself in symbolic terms. His artworks were known for their depictions of women from both ancient Greek mythology and Arthurian legend. Waterhouse is recognized as one of the greatest of England's late Victorian Romantic painters. Boreas. This painting features a young woman strolling around an open field, being swept away by the wind, trying to avoid her garb from being blown into motion. She's surrounded by a beautiful spring landscape, scattered with pink blossoms and daffodils. The color scheme used in this painting consists mainly of blue, green, flesh tones, white, and pink. The use of color and light brings an overall feeling of calmness, which can be felt by the observer. The choice of clothing she wears, a deep blue dress, slate garb, and the delicate flower behind her ear symbolizes both serenity and balance. The wind depicted in this painting is the work of the Greek god of the north wind, Boreas. Waterhouse utilized various techniques and a cool toned color palette to achieve both texture and movement on the clouds located in the distance. The painting contains many uses of line due to the harsh winds creating movement as seen in the articles of clothing worn and the curvature of the body. The use of shading plays a significant role in adding contrast and bringing life to the overall work. Circe and Vidiosa. The painting depicts Circe poisoning the water to turn Scylla, her rival, into a hideous monster. Circe and Vidiosa, which in Latin means jealous Circe. The history behind Circe in Greek mythology is that she was an enchantress who was renowned for her vast knowledge of potions and herbs. The enemies of the people who offended Circe were turned into animals. The color scheme used in the painting consists of a plethora of green and blue shades, along with brown and flesh tones. What makes this painting so mesmerizing is the facial expressions Waterhouse conveyed for Circe. The series and intense emotion, as seen by the stern face while glaring at the bull, is what makes the painting both beautiful and mysterious. The painting utilizes various uses of line and shading to capture life and to feel as if you are present in the dark grotto with Circe. The pose of Circe is simple yet elegant. She stands tall with her head tilted forward while she tips the bowl of liquid into the water. John William Waterhouse succeeded by presenting a simple image but has many layers of meaning and executed his task on beauty and evil. Hallas and the Nymphs The painting features Hallas being abducted by a group of water nymphs. The story behind the painting is that Hallas was kidnapped by a group of nymphs of the spring who had fallen in love with him and he had vanished. After being drawn beneath the waters of the spring, the nymphs made him ageless and immortal, and no matter the effort made by Heracles to find Hallas, Hallas could not be found. His abduction by the water nymphs was a theme of ancient art and has been an enduring subject for Western classical art. The color scheme used in the painting contains various shades of green, yellow, blue, red, purple, and flesh tones. Looking at Hallas, he was kneeling down while leaning over the water, with one arm being grasped by one of the nymphs, and the other is holding a large jug. The choice of clothing Hallas wears is a royal blue drapery with the red sash around his waist, while the nymphs are all nude with flowers in their hair. The perspective of the scene is from a slightly elevated position, forcing the observer's perspective to focus on the sinister nature of the nymphs. Through John William Waterhouse's three paintings, we can understand his deep fascination of Greek mythology and his passion for natural beauty and strong, beautiful female figures.